Hello everybody and welcome back to another Quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. In this video we're going to be covering metalworking. So, we're not going to be doing magma metalworking, just regular metalworking. As you can see here, we have a bunch of furnaces. We also have a bunch more furnaces. We also have two metalsmiths forges and two smithies. This is kind of going to be what your complete setup's going to look like. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be making a smaller setup down here in the corner. So, what I'm going to be doing is we are going to be using our pre-setup stockpiles, however. Right here, you'll notice we have hematite. Uh, if you click on it, it'll say that this is the ore of iron. It's for making furniture or building. Right over here, we also have platinum nuggets, which is what we're going to be using for this video as we're going to make some jewelry. Now, what we're going to do is we're also going to need some wood. I have a big old stockpile of wood right here, and uh, it, it's for making projectiles and all that stuff that wood is for, and also generally annoying the elves. We're going to go down here, and we are going to construct our workshop. So we're going to go to the workshop screen, screen, and we are going to go to furnaces. With this, we are going to make a magma, well, not, not a magma smelter, a normal smelter, right? We're going to place that here. Now keep in mind that they can only use... Um, rock for this. So you have to have like rock or metal around. Just keep that in mind. We're going to use a rock block. We're also going to go back over to furnaces and we are going to make ourselves a, uh, wait, wait, where is it? A wood furnace. I, for, for some reason, I don't look at the bottom first. We're going to grab that and we're also going to make that out of a block. Let's make that out of limestone as well. And then we're going to just go to the normal workshop section and we are going to make the last bit here, which is a metal smith. Now, we can also do this with magma, but we're going to do that at a later date. Now, this is going to require an anvil, which I just clicked, and also a block. Now, once these three buildings are finished being constructed, we'll continue with the video. All right, everything's finished being built. Now, because I do have a bunch of jobs queued up already, some things might pop up on these. But what we're going to, going to do is we're going to make some stockpiles real quick. I'm going to make a small stockpile, and it's going to be specifically for metal ores which might as well make this look uniform because we're being fancy here in this little tutorial. So we're going to make a small stockpile here. Actually, let, let's do um, wood first. So we're just going to make a small wood stockpile, which is going to go right there. We are going to make a small metal ores stockpile, uh, which is going to go right here, uh, right in front of the smithy. And we are going to make a small... Uh, I guess I, th I theoretically could make a bars and blocks stockpile, but I don't generally use those. So we're just going to make a metal ores stockpile. And um, then those are the two stockpiles that we're going to need here. Once there's wood in both of the and wood in this one and uh, ore in this one, we'll continue with the video. Now that there's wood in this stockpile, we're going to click on it, and we are going to go to this uh, wood furnace here, and we're going to tell them to make some charcoal. And we're going to just set this job to repeat. Keep in mind, you can also do all of this stuff through the manager. Now, the thing with charcoal is uh, we're going to use that to power the next workshop. Now, they, they've, they're being kind of pesky here. Uh, here, here. Here what looks like comes some metal ore. Perfect. Uh, that, 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 guys, that, that's a sock. Uh, why, why, why'd you leave a sock there? Uh, oh, oh, I see, because there's a wheelbarrow underneath it. They're going to run over and get wet metal ore with the, with the wheelbarrow. Dwarves will be dwarves, I suppose. Okay, there we go. Now we have some hematite down here. So we are going to grab this, and we are going to use the uh, charcoal from over here um, to smelt hematite. Now we could also make pig iron and be real fancy with steel, but instead we're just going to focus on smelting hematite. It's going to be brought up. And then we are going to, once that is complete, select the metalsmith's forge, and we are going to make something out of iron. Now, once you have uh, ore of iron or iron bars, if you have a flux stone layer, you can uh, check what those are. There's various different forms of flux stone in the game. Or simply click on this. It'll give you the option to make pig iron. If you can make pig iron, then you can make... Uh, steel, which is a very useful later alloy for stronger weapons. But we're just going to be focusing on iron today. Now that we've got some iron bars that are getting done, we're going to queue up a few more of these and just put that on repeat. And then we are going to click on the Metalsmith's Forge. And we are going to click Add New Task. We're now going to go and select weapons and armor. And that doesn't sound good at all. There are things attacking us in the basement. Well, it's a good thing we have weapons and armor. So, or it's a good thing we are making stuff out of iron. So I'm going to select uh, weapons and armor right here. And uh, then we are going to 
uh, select iron. It's going to give us the material options. And we are going to uh, ask them to make us an iron spear so that we can kill the thing that just showed up down in the basement. Looks like there are cavern dwellers down there. Well, that's terrifying. Uh, we're just going to uh, cross our fingers and hope that nobody starts dying in the background uh, while they very desperately uh, grab the bars that we just queued up down here and uh, make us an iron spear. They're going to use the charcoal that we forged in the first uh, stockpile. They're going to uh, smelt the hematite in the second stockpile and put it together in the third uh, workshop. Now, you don't need to make stockpiles for all of these. You can simply just let things play out. And uh, I'm not entirely certain what's, cer certain what's happening down here with all these serpent men, but uh, uh, this has been a very quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. If you found this video helpful, uh, maybe give this channel a, a, a subscription. Uh, otherwise, uh, check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash blindirl. Thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, I hope this fortress doesn't die.